Okay, Ian, I have your quad finished up. So this is a uh, Tomo Quads El Camino. This is actually the first one of these that I've done. It's been out for uh, quite a while, but uh, never got a chance to build one yet. It looks a lot like the Airblade Intrepid. <laughs> I'm not sure which one came out first, but yeah, it's it looks quite a bit like it. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so let's go through the parts. You have the Emax 1408 3600 kV motors. You have a Turtle V2. And uh, the SD card goes in on this side right here underneath the board. The button for start stopping stuff is on this side. You got your Unify Pro 32 Nano up here. And I did unlock it and I set it to 400 milliwatts. Um, you have your Diatone Mamba V2 stack. Diatone Mamba F4 Mini V2. Um, and on top of that, you have a Spectrum... Um, what is it? The 4648T, I think. The auto bind one. Uh, I tried to use my range module and I was just having nothing but problems with that thing so I know that it's all set up right the only thing you're gonna have to do is just bind it and it's ready to go uh, just make sure you set up a new model in your radio the correct way and if you need help with that I do have a video on that uh, and once you do that all you have to do is plug in the battery and then you wait Wait until you see the red LED start flashing rapidly right here on top. You'll see it here in a second right there. Okay, see it started flashing. So after that, you just bind it to your radio. You hold down the bind button while you turn it on the radio and it'll bind right up. Make sure you're not too close to the quad. Make sure you're about like two, two to three feet away. Uh, sometimes it's temperamental that way. Like sometimes you'll have to be two or three feet away. Sometimes you have to be like one foot away or whatever. I kind of would move it around back and forth between a few feet and one foot or whatever to bind it. If it takes more than a couple tries, then try doing that. But it should bind up the first try. It bound up for me the first try, even though it didn't work on my radio. Um, I did see the signals in the receiver tab and beta flight moving around. So I know that it's good to go. It's just my, my, I don't know how to work this iRange X. There's so many different options. There's serial and PPM and I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that, but I've been having problems with it. Sometimes it works for me on DSMX. Sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, um, I got a cap here attached to the XT30. Uh, I got a buzzer over here on this side and a battery on top. Um, this antenna I guess I'm just giving you because the the antenna that comes with the Pro 32 is only like this long. So where I put the VTX, it wouldn't have reached out the back. So I had to uh, use a different one. This is a VAS Minion that I'll just give to you, I guess. Um, I think that's about it. It's good to go. So like I said, just bind it up. Uh... And have fun. Um, let me... Oh, wait. I didn't show you the video yet. I should have showed that when I had it plugged in. There you go. There's your video. So, yeah. It's good to go. I will get it boxed up and send you over some tracking. All right. Thanks, Ian.